Whoa, look at that face. <laughs> That's the face of a meal prepper, like a bosser. <laughs> <laughs> a boxer? A bosser. I got oh. it in ER. <laughs> Uh, That's because right. I wanted to. All right. I was meal prepping like a bosser. Okay, that okay. works. Okay. So, you guys seen some of it. Um, this is what we have prepped for meals this week. Um, we've got some mixed veggies, carrots, cauliflower, green beans, broccoli. We've got some ground beef. It was extra lean to start, and then you've seen the way Kyle drained off the rest of the fat. So pretty much makes it like 95% fat free. I put a little, a uh, few squirts of sriracha and we like it spicy sometimes and sometimes not. So today I put a little more of that in there. Some chili powder, some cayenne pepper and garlic powder and do all of your seasonings to taste guys, whatever you like. And that was extra lean ground beef to start off with. So now it's really lean. Yeah. Um, and then we have some sweet potatoes that I baked off in the oven. Um, you guys seen how I seasoned those. Um, cooked them for 20 minutes at 400 degrees in the oven. And I sliced them fairly thick. Sometimes I slice them very thin and make chips out of them. Sometimes I do it like that. The, the thing is that we eat pretty much the same foods every day, every week. So what we do is we just change up the way we eat them. We don't always eat red meat. We change up our meats, but um, sometimes we like to add it in. If you want to pack on that muscle, there's nothing like red meat. It's good for building muscle. These and things, the, why we do them during the week, guys, is they, they work. And this, this is coming from two people that have, we've been doing this now a long time. And these are the foods that work the best. And it's awesome because they're very simple and easy to prep. Yep. Sweet potatoes, anything here, you can cook totally different. Throw in some chicken broth or throw in some different spices. Um, throw in some low sodium soy sauce or some low sugar ketchup or, you know, sugar free sauce of any sort. Whatever you want, just change it up. And don't worry about the sodium too much. Like, don't go crazy with it, but salt actually if helps you. When we first started, we ate way too low sodium and we were getting really bad headaches. So be careful if you go too low on your sodium because when we added sodium, a little bit more sodium back in, we felt really, really good. So yeah, just it's a, it's a balancing game. It's a trial and error of what works for you. Um, so we'll show you how we put this in a container. We have these containers that we got from the dollar store. Some of them are uh, compartments um, some of them are not there's no reason other than the dollar store only had uh, a sp certain amount of these so we got the other ones um, there are, is a reason for the lids though um, we get two different colored lids because we both have different amounts of things right now Kyle is not eating sweet potatoes and I am so it helps us tell the difference it also he eats more protein than me so um, red lids are for him and blue lids are for me and that just allows us to look in the fridge or the freezer and say oh yeah red for Kyle blue for me and just grab and go yeah just grab it and go so let's show you how to measure it out so we do one cup of vegetables for each container and there's um, you know, I, I'm not accurate with this. I just grab. And you guys, like, there's no need to overcomplicate things. This is this is what works. And yes, measuring cups and scales, they're not 100% accurate. It's just, it's a guide. Yeah. Um, we don't track, so, um, but we do measure. And measuring is good enough. You know, if it looks like I got a cup and it looks like I got three ounces of meat, I'm good. You know, um, I don't obsess over it because numbers, they make me crazy. And we have to change our diet all the time. Your body gets used to it. Um, so you can't keep on the same thing because your body, it will just know. It'll say, oh, I know what you feed me. And then you, you'll stop getting results. Your metabolic rate will slow down. You'll stop getting results. You need to keep changing things up all the time. That goes for yeah. workouts and diet. Exactly. Keep your body guessing. I will show you now. Uh, on our food scale how to weigh out some meat. This is a uh, food scale. We got it at Bath and Body Works. No, sorry we didn't. Bed <laughs> that, Bath and Beyond. That's a soap store. We got it at Bed Bath and Beyond. Um, but you can get them at Walmart sells them. I'm sure grocery stores sell them. Uh, probably even dollar store, I'm sure. So this one 
allows you to clear the weight of your plate so that you just get the measurement of your meat or whatever you're measuring. So turn it on, let it go to zero, um, then I set my plate down and I zero it out and now I'll get out my scoop and I'll do Kyle's first. So I'm going to go for four ounces. Don't get cheap on me now. <laughs> and I just keep going. And then I'll show you an example how we are not 100% accurate is that this says 406 and that's good enough for me. I, do, I put it in Kyle's container at 406. Scrape it in like that. And that is a meal for him. Yeah. So then for myself, I do three ounces, just like that, almost there. So now 310 I don't like, so I'll pull a little bit out. All right, so I'm gonna put my meat in the container, like that. And I'm gonna make it a little bit pretty for you guys. Whoa. Cause you deserve it. And this, scale allows me to actually weigh out how many carbs I want. I'm not going to weigh out the ounces of my potatoes. I'm going to do the carbs. I want about 20 grams of carbs. Um, so what I'm going to do is there's a code for sweet potatoes on my scale. So I'm going to type that in, make sure it says zero and I'm going to go for about around three ounces has been getting me um, 20 grams of carbs. So here we go, 349, and that gets me 21 grams of carbs. So I'm gonna lay my sweet potatoes out. Okay, so I measured out three ounces of sweet potato. Um, so that is what a meal like that, that's what a meal looks like for me. So we got Kyle's and mine. Yeah, and we get that question a lot. Don't you guys get bored of eating the same things? And the answer is yes, we do. So we change up the cooking method, yep. we throw in different spices. Yeah, but we still like yeah. to keep it simple. It works the best for us. Okay guys, so there's your tips. Change it up, keep it simple, spice it up to change it. And so, don't forget to check us out on Instagram. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you got any, have any questions or comments, leave it down below. And don't you ever do it. Do what? Don't you forget, silly. <laughs> To like and subscribe or you're gonna get, you're gonna get this green bean of doom. Oh my gosh. Mm. 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 Thanks for watching. Bye friends. Bye guys.